What is up everyone? It's uh, Forning Bros Music back with another video. Alright, so as you can see, I have two pretty big stacks of records here. It's been a while since I've made a video, and that's due to, you know, Christmas and stuff like that. Um, and over the break, I ran into quite a bit of records um, between uh, Christmas itself. I also took a vacation to California and got quite a bit of records from there. And then right after my vacation, I went to Indianapolis to visit my girlfriend and I went to a record store there. And then I've gotten other things since then too. So. I'm just going to go through and show you what I've gotten from about that time to now. Um, and this, this is going to be like a collection update. So uh, first, this stack here is all the uh, bands that have, we have, I have multiples of that I got. Um, so we'll start with this one. Uh, Blue Oyster Cult, Agents of Fortune. Uh, to me, this is like their best album. It's got uh, Don't Fear the Reaper on it, so, you know, everybody pretty much knows that song. If you don't, it's that uh, Saturday Night Live skit where Will Ferrell's just jamming on the cowbell. So, that's that one. Got this in Chicago. Very good price. Um, Reckless Records, I would recommend it if you're out in the Chicago area. Go check out that place. Uh, this one I got um, the other day. And this lady was pretty much getting rid of all of her albums. So I got about 20 in here from her. Um, and this is one of them. Another good Blue Oyster Cult album. Um, I haven't like listened to the whole thing yet. I know it's good. And my favorite song on there is uh, Cities on Flame with Rock and Roll. It was on Guitar Hero 3. It's a freaking awesome song. Um, Almond Brothers, Eat a Peach. This album is fantastic, um, front to back, both sides, uh, and both LPs are just really great, uh, very easily listening, and um, just good overall rock music. Uh, Almond Brothers, Brothers and Sisters, uh, this one again is the same thing, um, really good stuff on here, Ramblin' Man is on here, so. Uh, this one I got in Indie, uh, it's Metallica's Death Magnetic. This one is a great album. I think this is probably top three or four ranking wise um, as far as Metallica albums go. Uh, it's ironic I got this in Indianapolis actually because I'm going to see them in Indianapolis this summer so that'll be fun. Uh, I already saw them at Soldier Field in Chicago. Um, it kind of sucked because we were so far away because that stadium's huge, but it's going to be better in Indianapolis because it'll be at a smaller venue. Um, so their latest album too, I got Hardwired Self-Destruct. This was a record store day exclusive that they had just hanging out because um, they still had it. Uh, it's on Red Vinyl. Um, my favorite song on here is Spit Out the Bone. It's the last song, but it's worth the wait. Um, it's definitely one of their better songs. Um, not just on this album, but in my opinion, ever. Um, and then you also got Hail on Fire there, which are, is also a fantastic song. Um, if you watched my collection video, you know I have a crap ton of ZZ Top, and this is one of the ones I didn't have. This is Afterburner. Uh, this is the album After um, Eliminator, which is like their breakthrough. This one was considered even more popular. This was, uh... 1985 so yeah this one was really good um you got rough boy on there planet of women velcro fly those ones are pretty famous uh also this one this is another one that i did not have i only need like three or four more albums it's all their like 90s albums and then the few that they made in the 2000s and then they had one like 2010 or 2011 or something but this is the other one that I did not have, De Guelo. Um, I do have this on cassette. I did not have it on vinyl. This came from the lady um, out in Munster, Indiana that I went to. Uh, she had some pretty good stuff actually and I got about 20 records for 50 bucks. So it was pretty, pretty good. Um, this album's good too. I Thank You's on there. 
um, and mechanic, and she loves my automobile. That's a good one. Um, these two I got for Christmas, Highly Suspect. It's my favorite band. Um, I think this one is the better of the two. However, like I like this one better, if that makes sense. I enjoy listening to this one more, but this one overall I think is better. Um, this is Boy Who Died Wolf. This one is uh, Mr. Asylum. Uh, I don't know if you knew, but both of these uh, albums had a song that was uh, Grammy nominated on here. Uh, they were both for uh, Greatest Rock Song. This one was Lydia. Um, I hope you guys have heard that song because it's great. Uh, please listen to Highly Suspect. They're very underrated. Um, just very good, uh, kind of grungy, hard rock. Um, and that, that's kind of my favorite uh, genre. I do listen to heavier metal and stuff like that, but these guys really implement like my favorite type of music. And this Grammy nominated song from this album um, was My Name is Human, and that one is really good as well. Um, I got these two Jimi Hendrix albums. Uh, I believe they're both live albums. Actually, this one might not be. Um, but oh, found those ones too. Uh, this one's the live album. You got uh, Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. I My jaw dropped when I saw this um, because it's an original copy, copy and these things are hard to come by. Um, it's just, it's a very good album. It's an essential album that every vinyl collector should have and I'm glad I do and now have it. Uh, same thing with this, Pink Floyd's The Wall. Uh, same thing, another great album. Only drawback to this is a lot of these are kind of in bad condition. Um, the discs, however, were pretty decent. I did clean them today. Um, something happened, I believe, though, uh, when I was cleaning this one. I think it was the second disc or something. I cracked it a little bit. I'm not sure if it'll affect the playing of it, but either way, if it doesn't play, it's still nice to have it in the collection. Uh, we got an Outlaws record here. I popped this in for a little bit, wasn't a fan, but still nice to have. Uh, same thing here with this one. All right, and I'm not a huge Jethro Tull fan right now, but I'm gonna have to be with all of these pickups I got. I don't know how I accumulated so much Jethro Tull so fast. It just kind of happened that way. And these were all like really cheap, so I couldn't pass up on, I, I think, all of these were like three or five bucks. So that's cool. Uh, Passion Play, this is basically a two song record. Uh, kind of like Thick as a Brick, you turn one side and it plays like 20 minutes, you go to the other side, it's another 20 minutes. I uh, have not listened to it yet. I'm excited to listen to it. It's a gatefold in there, it's kind of cool. It shows like a playbill and stuff. Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll definitely listen to that because I'm interested and now since I have so many Jethro Tull albums, I kind of have to listen to it. Um, this one I have listened to a little bit. There's a few good songs that I do like. It's uh, Stand Up is on there and then Bori is a good song. Uh, this is Jethro Tull's Stand Up. And you pop it open and the band members come out standing up at you. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, also got Jethro Tull, this was uh, this one here, this is their first album, I don't know if they kind of did that, a play on words or something to, if when people were talking about it or something, they're like, oh yeah, this was their first album, so I guess that's an easy way to remember it. I haven't listened to it yet, but I will. Uh, this one's just freaking cool, it looks like a video game or something, or a movie. Um, Storm Watcher, Jethro Tull. Uh, this is either their second or third third album. I'm not sure. I want to say it's their third. Um, Jethro Tull's Benefit. This is a good album as well. All right, I'm gonna try to speed it up a little bit. Um, sorry if I like keep sniffling and shit. I'm pretty sick. Um, this one I just got as well. Chevelle's. Um, this type of thinking could do us in. Yeah.
Got it right. Um, yeah, this is a great album. I actually just saw them this past summer in Whiting, Indiana. They were just playing at a little uh, one night festival thing and they were pretty good. Um, the clenchers on here, get some, vitamin R. Uh, really good stuff on there. Same thing, it kind of resembles my favorite type of music. Um, Close to the Edge by Yes. Uh, this this was a good pickup because it was cheap. Uh, it's in really good condition and it's a good album. I haven't listened to it in its entirety yet, but I have overheard my brother playing it a lot and it's pretty good. Um, especially for Prague, I'm not a huge Prague fan. So uh, This one's interesting. This is Hoosier's soundtrack. Um, I'm from Indiana, so this is a pretty cool thing. You got Nice Indiana background there. Uh, that's central to southern Indiana. I live in northern Indiana. So yeah, Hoosiers, if you haven't seen the movie, great basketball movie, great sports movie about uh, the history of Indiana and kind of how basketball plays a toll in our community. So yeah, I was excited to find that and it was in Indianapolis. So uh, this one here is called Mastodon. Uh, this isn't actually a studio album. It is a compilation album of like two EPs that they released before they were an actual band. So this was actually music before Remission, which is their first album. Um, but it was released after Leviathan, their second album. Um, I'll just show you the vinyl real quick because it's pretty cool. Uh, it's like a grayish, kind of bluish turquoise color. It's really cool. Um, I just like this album because it's funny. It's like there's some pretty funny intros in there. Um, and it's just, uh, if you place it exactly in the middle of Remission and Leviathan, you can definitely tell because um, the music definitely reflects how it is. So it's like, yeah, you listen to Remission, listen to that, you listen to Leviathan, there's pretty much no difference. Um, that style of Mastodon is kind of in it to me, but still, Leviathan's my favorite album by them. So uh, This is Stroke's uh, First Impressions of the Earth. Um, this is a good album, this was their third album. Um, I don't like this album as much as their first two, but it's still really good. Uh, you got Razorblade on there, Juicebox, You Only Live Once, Ask Me Anything. That's like a ballad song, but yeah, this this one's still great. Um, got this one for Christmas, Royal Blood, their first album. It's a self-title. Um, this is a great album, and the artwork is absolutely fantastic. Um, but yeah, Royal Blood's a great two-piece band. Um, it may sound like they're playing guitar, but it's actually just a bassist and a drummer. Um, this one's pretty cool as well. Um, J. Cole's 2014 Four Stills Drive. Uh, I got this from my brother for Christmas. Um, this is a great album. Uh, fun fact, if y'all didn't know, it's the only album without any features to go platinum, which is absolutely insane. Shout out to J. Cole for that one. Uh, this one... System of a Down, Toxicity, this quite possibly is my favorite album. Had to get it on vinyl, already have it on CD. Um, I have a theory that they're doing, that I'm doing right now, that um, System of a Down is gonna put out a new album, either 2019 or 2020. Um, reason being is because they uh, repressed all of their albums, um, actually not even repressed, they just put these out for the first time on vinyl. Um, so they kind of remastered all of these. Um, Serge and Malik just released a new song. Um, it's not under, uh, it's not under System of a Down or anything, but it's it's just interesting to see them two back together. And then also, um, there's a show called Chicago Open Air that they're playing at. It's System of a Down. So those three factors I think add up to a possible album or maybe even you know, a few singles or an EP or something like that. Um, this is Van Halen, Fair Warning. I uh, just found this one, had to pick it up because I'm kind of a Van Halen collector. Uh, Black Sabbath, Master of Reality. Super glad I got this because this is a fantastic album. You got Sweet Leaf, 
Children of the Grave, Into the Void, uh, two or three very good um, guitar riff songs. Um, this one here, Johnny Cash, it's a kind of a compilation, I want to say, because um, it says Sun Story Volume 1. Um, I'm not too sure about it. I don't think it's an actual studio album, but it is under Sun Records, so anything under them is cool to have. Uh, this is Kinks Size um, by the Kinks. It's got All Day and All the Night on there. Got it super cheap, so I had to have it. Uh, you got CCR Bayou Country on here. This is a great album. You got Born on the Bayou, um, Proud Mary, and then you got the two super long songs, or Keep on Chugging and Graveyard Train. So yeah, this, this is a good one to have as well. Uh, you got Moody Blues in Search of the Lost Chord. Uh, this one's cool. Uh, I got it from the, uh, the garage sale. Uh, this is Santana's Greatest Hits. Uh, good stuff on here. I like Santana's music. Uh, just a good Latin artist. Uh, this is Kansas. What's that album? I don't know. Kansas. Uh, Led Zeppelin II, their second uh, best album in my opinion. Their first is Led Zeppelin I, uh, which is the only album that I need to complete my full studio discography of Led Zeppelin's albums, and they're all original, which is very cool. Um, I just think it's a cool thing to have um, a band's discography. Uh, and the last one we got is The Beatles, 62 to 66. If you saw my collection video, I have the blue version, which is the earlier version. This one is the later version. So this is just a pretty much greatest hits compilation of all their music from 62 to 66. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to my page because I really enjoy doing this for you guys. And I hope to see you guys soon.